to be in voice acting. They're just very interested in it. Okay, very nice. Okay, now, who here is in acting school? One, two, three, four. Classes yeah, acting classes, acting school, voice acting classes. Any kind of acting or voice acting? Who's doing that now? Okay, if you're not doing that, then you're not interested. So then. <laughs> I have a question already. Okay. Does performing stand-up comedy count? Sure, why not? It tells. Improv. Improv is always great. I did uh, comedy sports for, for a year, so I'm with you. And theater sports in LA. Uh, improv is great for, for everything. But as far as voice acting goes, uh, that's the step. Because everybody always asks me, how do I get into it? Acting lessons. Voice acting lessons. From there, you network. Network, network, network. And did I mention network? Uh, that's how it goes. Uh, oh, uh, hi. I'm Spike Spencer, by the way. <laughs> this is my panel. You're here. Thank you. So, voice acting is a crazy, crazy life. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I love doing it, but it's not, I'm an actor first and foremost. As a matter of fact, some of you might have seen, uh, there was a movie here called Now You See It, uh, starring Frank, Frank Langella. I was Paul. I was his right-hand guy. Uh, that was uh, a film I did back in 2005, 2004, late 2004, 2005. And I filmed a lot down here because I'm from Houston uh, originally. Now I'm in L.A., but when I was in Houston, I was back and forth down here all the time. Uh, doing uh, auditions and shooting things like uh, The Big Easy. You ever see The Big Easy, the series? Uh, I was in that. I had a recurring character in uh, two seasons. They told me right after I finished the second uh, season appearance, they said, we love your character, we're going to bring him back again in the third season. I'm like, yes! Finally! They canceled it the next day. <laughs> <laughs> so, the thing about being a voice actor, sometimes you gotta have a second job. So I might you might see me around town with my second job. Woo! What? That went well. Alright. As a voice actor, yes, you will probably have other jobs. You'll have other things you need to do. Um, it can pay very well. Once you get to a certain status, you can do very well. But like acting jobs, all acting, it can dry up tomorrow. You know, it, it could be, anything can happen. Let me tell you a little bit about how voice acting works real quick. I'm gonna give you a rundown from all aspects of it so you'll understand the technical part of it. Uh, let's start with uh, what we all know, anime. We all understand anime, we know what that is. It's actually dubbing. It's also ADR, which means automated dialogue replacement or additional uh, dialogue recording. Now, ADR is, there's a, an animation that has already been done, and we have to match the mouth flaps. And we do our absolute darndest to make it work. It's hard to match this, though. And they have, like, a whole sentence to say, Oh my god, they're running to the... That's all you see. You can't just sit there and go, ah! <laughs> Well, you can, if that's part of the script. Uh, it is also the, uh, it's the hardest voiceover job that there is, and it pays the least. I bet you didn't know that. Uh, the union rate for uh, ADR work is, I believe it's $64.25 an hour. You're guaranteed two hours, and that's it. So if you're there for three hours, obviously you get $64.25 each hour for that. But if you go in there for 15 minutes, you're gonna get about 128 bucks. Most of the uh, roles that you do in an, in an anime, if you're the lead even, you're going to go in, you do a couple hours, and then you're out until the next round, and then you do a couple things, and then you're out. So you're getting 128 here, 128 there, 128 there, every now and then. So if you think anime voice actors are making bank, wrong! But the other things, now let's go from voice acting in anime, which is the dubbing part, to let's say video games. Love doing video games. So much fun. Except for all the screaming. <laughs> and you're all going to help me with it in just a second. But let me tell you how video games work. It's very similar. Uh, sometimes we will have to match mouth flaps, but for the most part, we don't have to. So there's a line, 
and you do the line, and then you do it again, and if they like, they're going to pick A or B, and if they don't like that, they say, give me again, and you do it again with a little different inflection. So if the tanks are coming, okay, the, the tanks are coming our way. So it's like, the tanks are coming our way! The tanks are coming our way! I don't like A, don't like B. Give me C. The tanks are coming our way. We like C, go with that. Boom. Next line. It goes that fast. Bam, 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 bam. And uh, it's really, really fun. Once you get through all of the lines, you can be in and out. It's like, uh, I would say it's... Uh, uh, Krusty the Clown in The Simpsons, when he comes in the radio booth, he comes in and he goes, you know, Buy my burgers! They're microwave safe! <laughs> I'm out of here! <laughs> That's how it was when I did World of Warcraft. <laughs> I had like ten lines for a different character. I come in, I read the line, I like it, read the line, I like it, read the line, I like it, okay, I'm out of here! <laughs> um, now, video games, there's a difference. Uh, you, you have uh, uh, union, non-union, different things. Uh, wherever you stand on that, it doesn't matter. But the, the rate can be uh, like $800, roughly, for a day. Uh, it's usually like a four-hour block. And it can also be 200 an hour guaranteed, two hours. Or even a little bit less than that. It just depends on how it goes. Uh, it depends on who you're working with, or what version, if they're union, non-union, or FICOR, or blah, blah, blah. So, that's in there, but again, it's usually one session and you're done. Like, um, I was in uh, Bioshock Infinite, and did my, thing. Uh, so I did that, and I think it was like a four hour block, and it was about $800 or so. Now luckily they brought me in and later on did a couple extra voices, so I did like four or five voices in it. Uh, but you know you get a you get your rate you get your your session rate which is about eight hundred something, and that is wonderful. We love that. We really do. Uh, the fun part about it is in video games you always get attacks. You die. You punch. You kick. You flaming arrows. Whatever it is is a lot of fun. So we're all going to do that right now. I'm going to show you how it works. So we start with the small and medium hits, like you're hitting somebody. So I can like punch. Like, uh. So you go, so everybody do it with me, light. One, two, three. One more. One more. All right, those are the light hits. Then you go to the medium hits. It's more like a, ready. Nice. And now we get the big hits. This is like wielding those crazy huge scythes or an incredibly large sledgehammer. Give yourselves a hand on that round. Now prepare for round two. Oh, I forgot to say, if anybody is uh, audio or videotaping this in any way, shape, or form, please cease and desist immediately. For anything I say can, it will be used against me in a court of law. Again. Okay. okay, here we go. Now, this is where you get punched, kicked, stabbed, set on fire, rocks thrown at your head. Stomped by huge metal robots. So we start small. You're taking a hit. You look, oh, 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 and oh, oh, excellent. Now you get a medium hit. Somebody's punching you this time, maybe kicking you a little bit. It's like, oh, 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 go. Nice. Okay, now this is the big one. This is your big death scene right here. They get you, then they shoot you, they're stabbing you. They're like, oh, oh. Go! Yeah! Give yourselves a big hand! And then, of course, there's the final death rattle. <laughs> My eye! <laughs> that kind of thing. It's always fun. So, that is the fun part about uh, video games, except when you have to do those loud, huge screams over and over again. That'll get you. That's why the, the best, the most coveted spot is a Friday to record that kind of stuff because Monday comes around and if you're like, hi, happy Monday. <laughs> Oi. Next, so we go from video games, then we go to the Holy Grail original animation. <laughs> Wonderful. You guys are awesome. It's <laughs> never happened before. <laughs> That's another reason why I like the Holland's Braver. Yeah. 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 
Original animation is awesome because you do all of the recording beforehand and they animate it to you, to your uh, thing, to your performance. And if you have, sometimes I've worn the, the facial capture uh, camera, that's right, the big cone, you look really weird, you know, and um, sometimes they do full body capture, they'll just put a video on you and watch your thing so that you're doing your characters, you're really into it and really moving uh, like the character. So those are awesome. Those are the Simpsons, Family Guy, uh, American Dad, Bob's Burgers, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I have one coming out. I uh, cannot wait for you guys to see it. Uh, I can talk about it a little bit now. It's uh, called Get Blake. And it's uh, Blake, and he's a future space ranger. And these uh, angry space aliens have come from the future to come back and get him when he's a kid. They're space alien squirrels. <laughs> and I'm Blake's best buddy, Mitch. And he talks like this. Hey, what's going on, guys? Taco Toast, baby. <laughs> he's a fun little fat kid. And he's awesome. And we have these crazy adventures. Where they're fighting these space aliens all the time. It's coming out on Nickelodeon. Uh, and I'm working it with Robbie Damon, who is one of the guys on Breadwinners, if you guys are seeing that. He's a buddy of mine. And uh, we have a blast. Now this, sometimes with original animation, you'll be able to be in the booth with the other people and work uh, off of them. Uh, normally in dubbing uh, video games and stuff, it's just you in the booth by yourself. They've already pre-recorded um, the other actors. So that when you get in there, you're just by yourself, you come out. You might see them coming out or going in when you're coming out, you know, either way. Uh, that's how we meet. That's how we, uh, we see other voice actors all the time. I'm like walking out, there's Johnny on Bosch. Hey Johnny, what's up? What's up, Spike? Yeah, see you later. <laughs> hey Crispin. Hey Spike. <laughs> so, that's the way it works. Uh, but the original animation, that's the one you can make a lot of money. If you see me on an original animation show that's been running for like eight years and it's syndicated with, it's union syndicated, yes, I'll be on my yacht. So, those are kind of the three tiers of animation that you really want to get involved in. That's kind of how it goes. Uh, the dubbing part, if you want to dub, you can do it uh, Dallas and uh, LA and Vancouver, although you're American, so Vancouver would be very difficult. There's possibility in Houston a little bit, but other than that, there's nowhere to really do any dub work like that. Um, for in the original voiceover stuff, I think you've got Atlanta and he, uh, LA and Vancouver. So Atlanta is a comedy uh, central, or is it the Cartoon Network and things like there. Um, so those are, that's, you got to go where the work is. Now, if you are interested in other things, which I do everything, I've done TV, radio, uh, industrial films, training, whatever, uh, there's other tiers of voice acting that you can make money with, good money. You can pay your rent. Uh, doing little industrial films. That's big here in New Orleans and all in the South. You've got a lot of companies that need voiceover. It's very boring, but it pays some bills. You, know, you make four or five hundred bucks to read a few pages of copy about soldering pipe. You know, it's not exciting, but you know, it, it pays the bill. Or safety videos, those kind of things. Here's how you hold a laser drill. Don't do this. That's Timmy being bad. So, <laughs> things like that, it's, it's fun to do. And radio spots, of course, uh, radio, television, all of that local stuff. Uh, you have to get an agent, get a demo put together, and get that out there. Uh, there's an art to all of that as well, and each one has a different set of skills. Uh, voice acting for anime, that's one set of skills. Then you go to the video game, that's another set of skills, because uh, anime is much bigger, broader, and there's a lot of... Oh, 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 oh. Every time they move their head, it's going to be a mm -hmm. So, but in video games, it's real. That's why acting is so important. Video games, they want realism. They don't want too much affected stuff. It's, it can be a crazy voice, but it's got to be real. It's got it's to feel right. Uh, same thing with um, animation. Anything goes. <laughs> it can be crazy stuff. But uh, radio, like radio and TV are also both different. With TV, let's say I'm going to say the same thing. Uh, say, uh, come on down to Bob's Tires. So TV would be more like, a, come on down to Bob's Tires, we've got a great sale for you. On the radio, it would have to be amped up a bit. Come on down to Bob's Tires, because we've got a great sale for you. Because you've only got one medium, your ears. So 
there's those different subsets. And then it goes into other subsets of radio imaging, um, uh, promos, tonight on the WB. So vampire gets weird. <laughs> Things like that, you know. Um, what's another thing? I think I covered everything except for children's birthday parties. <laughs> I did it for six years. I was in all. I was in every Ranger suit, every Power Ranger suit. I was in every Teletubby suit. Hey, it was Barton. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> I wasn't the Barney. No, I was a Barney knockoff. <laughs> but I was still in that damn suit in, for 45 minutes in the sun in Houston in the summer. <laughs> yeah. So it was really bad, and it did not smell good. So, <laughs> and plus, you never want to get sick in one of those suits. And you never want to be in one of those suits after someone before you was sick. <laughs> yes, uh, believe it or not, that is a way to make some really good money. And that's where I honed a lot of my voices because I, I had to speak and do, you know, try to be these voices. Barney was the only I could really do well, except maybe I, Mickey. Ha <laughs> ha ha, everybody! Oh boy! Oh. Um, and yes, Minnie. I was Minnie Mouse too. 